Hello, it's Spence, the evil genius from Witch of the Laboratory with your lab secrets tip of the day. Well, today we have a special request in from Isaac, one of our customers who's in Shanghai, China. He runs a site called Latinos in China, and basically he had wanted us to follow up on some earlier firebug tutorials. Uh, the question is, how do I actually take the firebug modifications and get them to apply to my social go site? Well, perhaps we've been a little obtuse, so here today we're going to clarify that real quick. First of all, remember Firebug is one of the tools in our toolkit that is absolutely essential to making any of the magic happen over on your site. Uh, I just opened up the wrong thing, actually. That was my little blog editor. There we go. Firebug runs in a way that it affects the screen you are seeing, but in order to make this apply to your actual website, you have to grab and copy the changes that you make to both the elements and the attributes. And that's real easy on Social Go because in Social Go, in the admin dashboard area, there's a place here called Ads and Custom HTML. Let me show you this in practice. We'll go over here to Latinos in China, a Social Go site, and let's change some element. If you recall in our last tutorial, I showed you how to remove or modify this What's New box that shows up. So let's go and use that again in this tutorial. First thing we always want to do after starting Firebug is to right click and select inspect element. And from that stage, we can go ahead and in the left hand column here, get into the zone, the zone of where this element is that we wanna hunt down. In this case, I go ahead on divide ID what's now, and that highlights that entire box. So if I wanted to hide that, I move over to the right hand side and I can now see the CSS element, which is what now, and the attributes for it. It's got a background color of kind of a creamy yellow there. It's a hex code of FFF9D7 and it's got an, uh, a font color of 333333. Now I could do a couple things here. For example, I could change the background color. Uh, if I did that, I wanted to make it a nice gray. I could go CECECE -C -E -C -E, and that might be attractive and I could change the font. Maybe I want to change that to a white FFFFFF. Now, let's say I've done that and I like what I see. Now I go ahead with my mouse and I left click on this and I drag down to highlight just what's between the name of the element and the last bracket, the ending bracket. So again, I drag down till it's blue highlight. I move my mouse over and I right click and say copy. Now what I do is I go over to my admin dashboard and log in as admin, click on ads and custom HTML. When I do, I'm going to use the head and metadata area box here. I need to create two style tags if I've not done this before, a beginning style tag and an end style tag. Now remember, you don't need more than one pair of style tags. This is just one time for all of the CSS you're going to change. Then I go ahead and I paste in what I just copied. And I want to make sure that I've got those tags because without this, it's not going to work. I scroll down and I click Save Changes. When I do, I go back to the site and I reload the page. And when I do, those changes are now permanently part of the page. It's really that simple. In the future, any of the other changes that I make in CSS, I can just go ahead and modify here in Firebug. Let's say I'll do one more. Let's say I want to uh, eliminate the smiley face. I have a minute left in my screencast, so I better go fast. If I want to eliminate the smiley face, I go ahead and inspect the element. And I see here I've got this what now three image. I'm going to go ahead and say display none. Now I go ahead and copy that change. Go back to my admin dashboard in the ads and custom HTML area in the head and metadata box. Paste that being very careful that I don't overlap that old tag, click on save. Once that's committed, I go back and reload the page. And just like before, this has now been permanently committed to my site. It's now part of the permanent CSS until such time as I change it later. This has been Spence with your lab secret tip of the day.